dappers, we are very excited to announce the release of our fully mobile responsive and customizable dapp login templates. The key features are, these templates are completely mobile responsive. You can configure post login landing page in the shortcode. Your users will be redirected to that page when they log in. The new release also comes with five pre-built login page templates as well as two sidebar templates. These templates are fully customizable. You can update the style, you can update the layout, or you could create your own template and add it to the template list. And just include the name of your template in the shortcode, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's have a look inside. Let's take a look at the templates. This is template one. You can see the remember me and the forgot password are below the login button. This is template two, slightly different layout. The remember me is above the login button here. The background color is different. Template 3, background color is different, similar to template 2. This is also similar to template 2, background color is different. We created different variations of these colors so that you don't have to update the CSS. You can just pick one of these templates and the button color is different in this one. You can also see there is a sidebar template. All you have to do is create a text widget and enter the shortcode there with the template name set to sidebar 1 or sidebar 2 or you could even create your own sidebar template and put that in the text widget. Now this is template 5, different background color, button color and similar layout as template 1. I would like to start by showing you a before and after picture. Now this is a customer site and this is a DAP login form. As you can see there are alignment issues, the form does not look good. The problem here is the theme CSS is interfering with the DAP CSS. And the solution for this is generally to update the DAP CSS so it can override the theme CSS. Now all I did was I implemented the latest version of the login template on this customer site and this was the result of that. I didn't have to update any CSS and it showed up like this. Let's take a look at the shortcode format. Pretty straightforward. Just have to say DAP login form, name of the template. Now if you also want to configure a redirect, then just set a redirect tag and set the URL of your redirect page. And when the users log in on this form, then they will be redirected to this page. We are releasing five page templates and two sidebar templates. You can easily switch to a different template just by changing the template name. As far as sidebar templates, you can copy this in a text widget and configure it to show up in the sidebar and you will have the login form on the sidebar. Let's take a look at how you can customize these files. FTP to your site, under DAP Live Links, you will find there is a folder called Includes, under that Login and Logout. Under Login, there is a folder called Templates. Under the Templates, there are five page templates and two sidebar templates. So you select any one of these templates, so you selected Template 5. You will see under each template folder, there is a template.html and there is a style.css file that drives the style of that template. If you want to update style, then just make a copy of style.css, call it custom style.css. Just prefix the word custom in front and then make your updates to custom style.css. And similarly, if you want to update the template, copy it to a file called custom template5.html and then make your updates in that file. Now I'll say that you want to update the form width. This is the style.css file. All you have to do is change the width from 400 to whatever you want. If you want to increase it or decrease it, then just update it right here. And again, don't directly update style.css. Copy it to custom style.css and then make the updates to that file. But if you want to create your own folder, then the best way is to copy over an existing template file and the style file onto your custom folder. For example, my template. And then rename the template file to match the name of your folder. So if it's my template, the template file should be called mytemplate.html. The style file should always be style.css. And there are certain elements within the template that you, that you should not uh, remove. For example, the JavaScript references. And uh, there are some merge tags that are required because the DAP code knows how to replace this merge tags. So make sure you retain them. And the name of the email field should be called email. The name of the password field should be called password. If you want to simply update the layout, you can do that. Installation is pretty straightforward. You just need to upload the latest version of Live Links, which is Live Links version 1.12 to your site to use this feature. That's it, there are no updates to DAP. But if you are on an older version of DAP, if you are not on DAP 4.7.2, then please make sure to first upgrade to DAP 4.7.2 and Live Links 1.12 to use this feature. 
because you cannot upgrade just live links if you are still on an older version of DAP. This is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.